It's Fact Sheet Friday again. Welcome back. And this is Fact Sheet 6. We actually have two parts to each fact sheet and we have seven as well. So this is the Komatsu 931XC Harvester, the tree harvester. 435,000 euros it costs and also the engine horsepower is 251. The fuel tank capacity is 405 litres and the travelling speed is 20 kilometres per hour or 12 miles per hour. You can also choose a different wheel setup if you'd like to. You can choose between the standard wheels, which you can see here, or the Olosfors tracks, which I'm going to show you in a minute in the second part of this fact sheet. So obviously it's a beast of a machine. All looks very good. The atmosphere looks brilliant and the trees in the background. Uh, one thing you're going to see within this video is the different shaped trees, which I think is fantastic because in Farming Simulator 17, all of the trees were perfectly straight. The second part of the fact sheet, as mentioned, does show you a very good image of the uh, the Olosfors tracks. So before we actually run through the specifications of this Komatsu forwarder, I just want to say really quickly just a few of the different benefits for having the tracks instead of having the wheels. Now obviously both have different uses and wheels will be better in one situation, but the tracks will be better in others. So one positive for the tracks is an increased traction and load capacity. Another positive is it's not going to create deep ruts, uh, it's going to float more on the surface. And thirdly, there will be less root damage to existing trees when the machine is travelling. So yes, it's a Komatsu 875 forwarder, costing €216,000. It has a 251 horsepower engine and has a fuel tank capacity of 160 litres. The travelling speed is 20 kilometres per hour, which is 12 miles per hour. And what we've just mentioned, you can choose between the standard wheels and the Elosphor's tracks. On to fact sheet 7, A and B. First of all, we've got the MAN TGX, or the MAN TGX, 26640. This is a timber truck, and it costs €180,000. It has a 640 horsepower engine, which is obviously given away in the model number, the 26640. The fuel tank capacity is 490 litres and it has a very impressive travelling speed of 80 kilometres per hour or 49 miles per hour. The reason why I say this is impressive is uh, really because it's it's designed to be in a forest, it's a timber truck. So being able to get up to that speed in a forest <laughs> would probably be quite dangerous but also at the same time very impressive. For a road speed that would be quite slow. Anyway you can choose a different main colour if you'd like to and it is equipped with the BEFA or BEFA timber bunk construction which is what you can see on the back there. It also has the pal finger crane, this is the log grab and obviously this is going to allow you to actually load it up without the need of another machine to do that. As mentioned this is the image which shows you the uh, the trees in the back and you can see they're definitely not perfectly straight, they are different shapes, they're more unique which I think is really good because although it's nice to have some straight trees because they're easy to work with it's just not real. <laughs> it's just not right because obviously in real life different trees grow at angles because they're trying to get light from other trees uh, because other trees are in the way for example. Um, so yeah, absolutely brilliant. A big improvement. We then have the Steyr Profi Continuously Variable Transmission Tractor. It costs us €112,000 and it does have a range of horsepower that you can choose from starting from 129 to 175 horsepower. It has a fuel tank capacity of 210 and it's got a 50k gearbox so 31 miles per hour. You can customize a few things, the engine which we've just mentioned, so the engine horsepower, um, the wheel setup and the brand. So you can choose between standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with wheel weights which I'm sure will be quite a popular one, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels and communal. So obviously a, a huge range of different ones you can choose from depending on what you're going to be doing. Um, so I'm sure you're all looking at that screenshot and thinking wow that is an interesting looking thing. I did the same thing. Unless you're not doing that but I certainly did do. Um, clearly it's a front loader attacher but it is a grapple, it's a, it's a grab for, um, for logs. It looks like a really interesting idea. It's a Flegel 
Long Neck Combi Plus, and it calls it Logging Tongs. It costs 3,500 euros. So I think I can already see the reason why you'd want to go for one of these. It's the cost, really. If you are not really wanting to do forestry on a big scale, and you don't have loads of money to throw at it, then this would be a fantastic alternative. Because obviously, it's not that expensive, and you should be able to afford it, really. Because in FS, it is pretty easy to uh, make three and a half thousand pounds or euros or dollars. Uh, so yeah, it's like a cheaper alternative. It's going to get the job done, basically. So it's not a great big machine with high horsepower, but it is going to be able to move the logs certainly much easier than moving them by hand. I really like that, and I can't wait to use that in the game. Anyway, I know it's gone fast again, but uh, that is two more sets done. That's four fact sheets, so it's going to be another week now. Please do join me again next week for more Fact Sheet Friday, but until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.